Hey guys, Ice62 here, and welcome to episode 10 of my Let's Play series. We made it. Made it to episode 10. I wasn't sure if we were going to get this far, but we did. So, as you guys have probably noticed, I cut out the floor a little bit. So, yeah, I cut out the floor. FPS dropped there for a second. Yeah, cut out the floor because I have to replace it. I don't want dirt, a dirt floor. That's just gross. So... I replaced it, and similar to last episode, I'm going to be doing a little montage of building my base. I'm not going to just have you guys watch me build it. It's going to take a little bit longer than I think you would want to watch me build it. So I'll do little snapshots like I did with the previous episode. So let's get started on that.
So guys, here it is. Here is our new base. Take on a little bit of a tour here. Give me just a second. Alright, take on a little bit of a tour. This is eventually going to be drawbridges, so just step on a pressure plate out there and it'll drop open and then it'll seal itself again. Let's see. Kinda like the staircase design. As you can see there's lots of room for improvement. Don't worry, these torches are temporary. Once I get enough dark iron is there color glass there is. Once I get enough dark iron for wrath lamps. We won't have this problem. We won't have any torches laying here. So I think what we'll do right now is set up our IC2 machines right here. And we only have four of them, but this little area should be fine. So I did hollow out a little bit down here. Just a little bit. And don't worry, I'll make this a little bit better looking and easier to get into and all that. I was going to bring it down to this level. I might still end up doing that, we'll see. But for now, we need to move our industrial craft machines. Hmm. Alright, so I need a wrench. What's the. Uh, oh, he's got kind of low durability here. So. Let's actually put this guy in here to drain all this power. And you're done. You're done. You're done, you're done. Break all these cables. How about inventory space? That's a problem. Let us remedy that. I'm losing my mind here. Alright, there we go. Dirt goes in there. What is going on? Alright, so let's get these cables. This power fist is ridiculously quick. So we'll worry about storage in just a little bit for right now. I just wanted to get everything out of here. No, go away. There we go, that's what I wanted. You come with me. And how I need more copper cable. There should be some in here. Cool. Alright, so how do I want this set up? I think it'll go macerator, furnace, and then the compressor and all that. So, actually, I'll leave room for an induction furnace here. So, for the time being, I need my macerator. And furnace. And I need this guy this guy. So, macerator. You need to output to that side. I believe is the direction. Is that the north side? Yeah, okay. So this can go in here. I need to go down. And let's see. This guy needs to go here for now. And then I'm going to have you. I'm going to have quite a few more of these guys, actually. So if I remember correctly, it's input on any side and then output to the dot. I believe that is how it works. So, lava. That is indeed how it works. Cool. So that was relatively straightforward. However, we're going to need to work on a little bit. So I think I'll run the item ducts out the back. If I remember correctly, they are eyesighted inventories. So this will be here. And like that. Let's do this. And then I have room now for the portal. If I get rid of this, right here, right here. Okay, cool. There we go. All right. So now I need this guy. All my item ducks. Love that.
that I fit inside of a block with the little item ducks here. So let's see. What else can we do? Well, first of all, we have to test this. So you guys go into four. Do I have a chest? No. But a hopper will work. Right? Yeah, that'll work. You go on that. Go, Master Raider, go! You can do it! I know you can. So, this should work. We will find out in just a second. Come on. Work with me here. That's the case that I can make some micro blocks and cover that up. And you won't even know it's there. It does indeed work. Sweet. Okay, cool. So, I could take this copper ore out of here. Grab this guy. I'll do the, the multi-block, the covers and all that later. So, I think... Hmm. Well, I do want the item ducts that you can see through. Unfortunately, I don't have any obsidian. So, we are going to need to make a couple things. So, let's see, I need to make, uh, what is it, an igneous extruder? Yes. Okay, so let's go back to our base. Hmm. Let's fix that. Whoops. Okay. So I need a machine frame. Do I have any glass laying around? Let's clear the glass. Okay, good. I do. Grab that and that. Steel, that's the iron one. Any more cobblestone? Right, let's try that again. And redstone. There we go. Okay, and then I need a pneumatic servo. Do I have enough for? And I also need two tin. And my inventory's full. Oh my goodness. There we go. I really need to clean this inventory out. It's just way too full. Okay, so then I need a chest. And a bucket of water is in my backpack. Yeah, okay. It's getting dark. Let's sleep through the night here. Hmm. Alright, so now we can go in here. And I'll just right now put it right here. Get lots of lava, because I need obsidian. You can go here. And I need you. I need just a bucket of water. I think I can right click it on the machine. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. And it should use inf it should require infinite lava. Oh, it requires both. Hmm. Okay. That is no problem. I'll just go make an aqueous accumulator. AQ, not AQW. So one more machine frame. One more pneumatic servo. Servo, two more tin. And we're good to go. And I need another bucket. Get the bucket out of here. Grab water from these real quick. That works. So we're going to be leaving this little hut here soon. I just haven't moved over all my stuff yet. So it also needs an aqueous accumulator, huh? 
That's fine. Do I have Fluidux? I think I do in this bag. No. Do I have... I think I have some in this chest, actually. Yeah, okay, good. So that'll work. So what we'll do... One water bucket here. One water bucket here. Pull from the middle to fill them both back up. Put you here. I just need the lick, the fluid duct. And the bottom should be blue. And that side should be orange. Cool. We are officially producing obsidian. So I think I'll put my thermal expansion machines on this side. Two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I might only need a couple. Hmm. Since I'm doing industrial craft. I'm not sure whether I'm going to stick with industrial craft or not, but for now, I'm going to need an induction furnace, I believe. Yes, induction smelter. I need invar, don't I? Crap. So, invar... is in the alloys two iron and one ferrous equals three invar and I need two invar so tell me I have ferrous somewhere ah there it is I'm gonna smelt it real quick that's okay Come on, Ferris. Sweet. Alright, Tinker's Construct. Smeltery thing. Oh, well, you guys... Well, between the last episode and this one, I made a couple Tinker's Construct tools. Just out of iron. Because I was digging up my basement. So where's my ingot cast? There it is. Man, my inventory is a mess. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to figure out some sort of system. I don't know whether... I'm, I'm probably not going to use barrels just because there's so many items. So I'll probably stick with the chests. But have them downstairs. And make it so that... We're going to be doing logistics pipes like I mentioned. And item transport will be railcraft. So you should actually build a coke oven too. Just so we can get some creosote started. What do coke ovens require? Um, oh, that's sweet. I have definitely enough for that. I hope that's Invar. Yes. Why did I leave over here? Two. I'll leave that guy there for now. I need another machine frame. And a redstone reception coil. And two copper. Go here, you go here. What goes on the top? A bucket. Really? A bucket? Oh my goodness. There we go. This is, uh... I'm derping, I know. Leave me alone. There we go, induction smelter. And I am going to need... One of you guys. And you guys. take all of it actually. I wish I could take that with me but I can't. That's a lot of lava just sitting there. So let's hop through our portal. And I don't have very many flu ducks so for right now it'll have to be down here won't it? Because that is... why is that not filling? This is full. 
Let's change that. There we go. So it is slowly filling up. Okay. Hmm. Right now, I guess I can put these two, three, four. Put the wrong ones. That's why it didn't work. Those are item ducks. Those are the ones I want. So for right now, this guy will have to sit here. I'll just steal this for a second. Whoops. Just one of you for the time being. kind of concerning me that my lava is staying so low. Uh, I think we'll have to go check on that, actually, because that is very unnerving. So let's just take a quick trip to the nether, see what's going on. Hmm. So, let's see. My lava pump is... Which direction? Right here? It's here. It's over this way. Okay. But where? Oh, there it is. So, why are you not working properly? Is that... Ardite? Yes, it is. I should grab that. That's Cobalt. And he's, uh, zombie pigmen are going to try to kill me. That's fine, I can always use this stuff. Oh, well, there's more. I know you want to kill me now, that's fine. Let's see. There's my spell. Well, if they weren't mad before, they are now. How'd you know I shot you, you bastard? How'd you know it was me? Come on. Into the lava. Come on. You're not gonna come into the lava, are you? Oh, you are. So come on. Come on. Killed him. Now they're all mad at me, though, I think. Oh, it is, it is producing lava, so let's get the hell out of here, then. Did I just get lost? Yeah, I did. Firebat! There it is. There's my portal. Let's get out of here quick, before they come attack us. We made it. We survived. Is it getting dark? Indeed it is. Hmm. So I guess... I don't know what else to do. I didn't really plan this very well. I think what I'll do between this episode and next is... Hmm. No, I don't know what I'll do. I think we'll keep playing for a little while longer. So, you're full... And you are set to high, just because I don't feel like wasting the lava that you have. You're full. So I need pulverized obsidian. Oh my goodness, it made quite a bit already. Well, let's go sleep through the night first. <sighs> I know what I'll do. Between this episode and next... I'm not done with this episode, but after we're done here, I will move everything over, get it set up the way I want, and then we'll go from there. So, you're good. I need you to pulverize me some obsidian, please. Dang, you're slow. That's okay. So, the geothermal is... Why are you not... Oh, that's why. 
There we go. Just leave that like this for now. There's enough lava in there. I guess it's just got to catch up. Obsidian dust. Please tell me I can use that in the... Okay, good. So I need some lead. A whole stack of it, probably. Let's close that. Iron can go away. Copper ore can go away. Bring a half a stack of lead. You can go away. You can go away. You don't go in that chest. So, how are we doing? That should give me quite a few. Alright, so now that I have production of hardened glass, I think this is as good of a wrapping po up point as any. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.